I just wrote this poem called Thermostat. And um, it's deep. It's deep. All right, let's get started. Temperature, temperature, all you hear are screams from the basement. Sounds of tons of children are screaming for their life. So you hear the call for help, and what are you going to do? Remind you, it's in the middle of the night, and the thermostat is in the basement. As you walk down the steps, the fear come on you, and you want to go back up. But the children are screaming so loud, you don't know what the hell is going on. Screams. Repeat it. Please help us. And again, help us please. Your footsteps are reluctant, but you have to see what is going on. So you try to turn on the lights, but unfortunately it don't work. The thermostat is in the far corner of the basement. The children are scattered all over the basement. So now, and somehow, you find a flashlight on the floor. And as you flash, you see the children's faces. You see the tears on their face. So you walk around the basement. It turns into the street. So you see the children that had to deal with poverty, neglect, and violence. Then you walk further and you see the basement turn into a village with goats and sheep. Running around the children that live in huts with no food and, and no clothes. Once again, you walk around the basement and it turns into a classroom. And you sit down next to them. And they seem to be waiting for the teacher to show up. And you are waiting too. But when the teacher show up, you see the children are still hungry for knowledge. In education. So you flash back to reality and you are back in the basement and you sit in the middle of the floor and say a verse. A child should lead them. But how can the children lead them if we can't protect, teach, love, feed, and nurture them? 